We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup in store as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Purdy now on second down. And this is caught. Jennings. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Shotgun now with Purdy. Over the middle complete. That's Jennings. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And he makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll try and pick it up in McCaffrey. Well, he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. This ball is caught. He's getting Debo. Debo Samuel, 49 yards. And the 49ers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Fair catch called for and taken back near the goal line. So that'll come out to the 25. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Play action. Here's Hertz. And that one into the hands of Brown downfield. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. It's early, but announcer cliche alert here. Big players make big plays. Should I say in big games too? Oh, what the heck. And this defense, they're going to have to find some way to slow him down as this game goes on. Because when this combination is going good, they can tear your secondary apart. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. 
Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Hurt sets up to throw it. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. On third down, here comes Swift. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. The kick by Elliott is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives, and they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. They go play action here, Purdy. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a second and ten. Pistol, McCaffrey. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game without just a five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. Sometimes in the run game, you can make the argument that quickness beats size. And how about the example right here? So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Fourth down try. Here's Purdy. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And it'll be a turnover on down. the play fake. Here's Hurts. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. That was a chance for the breakthrough. He's got a man running free, and you've got to be able to put that on him. But instead, let him too far incomplete. 73! 73! Hurts. That's complete. It's Okuwebu now. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It'll be a loss of two on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Elton. 
It hurts not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it. Hey, 73, 73. Let's get two. Oh, look at this play call. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, a 23-yard run. And the Eagles have taken the lead. So the offense starts that reverse, looks like all the action, it's going that way, then the reverse, and it was like the Red Sea party. Did your eyes go the same place mine did? Yes, they all did. All we there. thought yep. the action was going, and then we had to reverse course too, just as the runner did, and come back the other way. He was wide open after that play. Elliott good on the extra point. It is now 10 to seven. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Charles, we'll see how this offense responds. Remember the last time they were out, they went for it on fourth down, did not get it, and that led to a touchdown on the other side. So they need a response here. They certainly do, and I just have a question for you. You think that was a gut feel, or was that analytics that came into play there deciding to go for it on fourth down? That felt like gut to me. What about you? Yeah, absolutely, because the way it backfired, where they are in the game, all those things, that didn't feel like an analytics call. That certainly felt like, hey, I feel like we can get this right now. And unfortunately, it didn't work out for them. Second down and eight. Purdy now to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Zach Cunningham with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Charles, he was looking for just a short throw, kept it in range for the rare linebacker pick six. And give him full credit for his focus. He just kept the quarterback in his sights, and where he was looking to throw, he positioned himself perfectly to be there for the interception. He made the play of the game for his defense right there. And Elliott good with a PAT, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Well, we just saw something you don't ordinarily see, and that's him trying to deep ball after throwing a pick six on his previous pass. Normally, they give him something safe to get his confidence back. Instead, they let him fire it downfield, albeit unsuccessfully. Back to the air on second down, Purdy. This pass to Jennings, and he makes a catch. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. First down now, but that clock rolling. Purdy will set up to throw it here. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Purdy to throw again on second and 10. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not win it in. Oh, I don't know if he's sensing contact to cover what, but that's a ball he'd love to have back. That could have gone for big yardage, but it just didn't want to stay in his hands. That's a tough break. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Purdy will look to throw again here. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Isaiah Rogers. 
And that now two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe first it a bit, and instead created a second one. A really nice gain of 25 yards. 